Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Pelican Bay Dog TV and News. I'm giving it to you the way I always do. Big salute and big shout out to all the dog lovers from across the world. I'm out here with the puppies today. These pups are five, going on six weeks old. They're grand champion hog on the bottom. Walk them on the top. You know, and this is these puppies' first time ever being on the ground, period. First time ever being outside, period. You know, they have their uh, uh, first and second warmers and their first shots. So being that she's around the puppies and the puppies still drinking off of her, I'm still, you know, I, I, I give them a little bit of warmer in between time, you know, because I know it's still a chance after I worm them and they go back to drinking that milk, then they still uh, contract worms again. But I also worm the mother dog as much as possible as I could throughout her uh weaning process and you know i'm still worming her. i gave her a tapeworm roundworm hookworm flatworm medicine um did all for the pups as well gave them roundworm hookworm flatworm liquid and tapeworm pills i want to send a big shout out to city boy kennels for sending this bitch red lady down my way so we can make this happen you know so we can make it happen um and this is one of the this is the purest form of the Old Family Southern Reds. You know, I tell y'all brothers, the Old Family Southern Reds, these aren't Old Family Red Nose. You know, that's a different strain, great strain of dogs. These are Old Family Southern Reds at its purest form. And only way you can make Old Family Southern Reds is by having this bitch, which is City Boy's Red Lady. The only way you can have Old Family Southern Reds you know, is to cross this bitch to a pure walk a red dog. Walk a red. Walk a red dog is one of five, four now because one of them died, one of four dogs off that mellow yellow, off that Sabre 2000 hacksaw breeding. It got to be one of the dogs off the Sabre 2000 and hacksaw breeding bred back to this female. Or any one of her descendants, one of her direct descendants, inbred descendants. It got to be straight her blood. It can't have nothing else in it. City Boy Kennels Chainsaw, he can produce the old family Southern Reds when he breed him back to a walk -em all female. They make the old family Southern Reds. It got to be a cross off one of Red Lady's direct descendants, inbred it. Or either Red Lady herself, back to a Walker Red, which is Fletcher, Mango, Mellow Yellow, and I got to get the other name for the other one. You know, Walker Reds. See, I look at it like this. Why argue with somebody that can't have dogs? Why argue with somebody that can't do what I can do? Why argue with somebody that's not on my level? You know, it's just taking me back down to their level. It don't really make sense. A lot of y'all brothers need to get your dog game up. You know, you ask these questions, you try to figure out certain things with the dog game, but actuality, you need to start back from the basics. Learn how to raise these puppies, treat these dogs like dogs, you know what I'm saying? Treat these dogs like they're supposed to be treated. You need to start back from the basics and then worry about all them bloodlines and all that other stuff. It don't matter what bloodline some of you brothers get, you'll destroy it. See, jealousy and envy is what's going to be a lot of you brothers' easiest and quickest downfall. You see, in my days, and this, this I'm going to explain something to you. In my days, I would have ran circles around you because you're too easy to follow flunkies. You're too easy to follow brothers that, that ain't walking it like they talk it when it comes to these dogs. You know, <laughs> they forgot to tell you how to take care of them, right? You know, everybody want to talk about how to condition them, how to weigh them out, how to get them right. Before you do all that, you got to take care of these dogs from day one. If you're not taking care of the dogs from day one, none of that other stuff you're trying to do is going to matter. No keeps, no none of that stuff. You got to take care of these puppies from day one. Not day 10 months, not 12 months, not 16 months, not when you find out they cranked up. Day one. At the end of the day, I'm from that area where we let the dogs do the talking. You know, if you got something to say about the bay, I just let the dogs do the talking. Let the dogs do the talking. A lot of y'all, you ain't putting up. 
You know, you're doing a lot of talking, but you ain't putting up. You ain't bringing nothing to the table. See, I'm PBK9's dog TV and news. So you might end up on the news where I may have to speak about your dogs, you know. Or you may be giving an interview, so we may be speaking about your dogs. Or it may be something that we heard throughout the back streets that we going to talk about with these dogs because I'm a news channel and I give it to brothers how I got to give it to brothers, you know. But at the end of the day, I bring my dogs to the table, you know. I bring my dogs to the table. For all y'all brothers that want yard tours, <laughs> you give me a yard tour and I'll give you one, you know. You give me one and I'll give you one. I ain't, I ain't seen a yard tour <laughs> that got something to do with taking care of these dogs yet. You know, I ain't seen a brother with a house with a with the, the perfect yard and that perfect yard fed them dogs. You got the perfect yard, but your dog's skinny as hell. You know, we can't rely on, oh, he's in condition shape all the time. Some of these dogs are in peak condition shape. Some of these dogs are ready to go to the show right now. And then you got some of these dogs are poor as hell, starved, skinny. Some of these brothers can't make weight when they call weights. They starve their dog down to weight. They don't work their dog down to weight. You don't know what you're doing. You go back to the basics. Start back from ground zero. There's no harm in starting from ground zero and learning the right way. Because you end up running against a brother who's going to take you out all your bread or not take you out all your money and ain't going to tell you nothing until they 15, 20,000 strong in your pocket. Then they're going to give you some advice. See, I understand why they hate. You know, I understand why they hate. And this is the thing. You got some channels that teach their brothers how to be trolls. And then you got other channels where brothers try to teach you to take pride in your product. See, I take pride in my product. You know, if you take pride in what you're getting rid of, if you take pride in what you got, then there's no reason for brothers to have dogs stacked up in dog urine and feces you know there's no reason for none of that stuff when you when you do things like that it's just showing you that you you don't care about the people that you get money from out their pocket you know yeah if you're gonna get a dollar from this brother make sure this brother is happy at the end of the day you know or sister is happy at the end of the day and that's where a lot of hate come in at because a lot of brothers don't know how to be them sales when it comes to marketing when it comes to promoting your own brand you know and then on the other hand a lot of brothers are in positions where they can't do none of that stuff and they trying to keep you brothers and you sisters on that level where they at <laughs> you can have a dog a lot of these brothers that's telling you this stuff they can't touch a damn dog you know they can't get on the video like i'm on the video right now and showing you my product the only product they're going to show you is that online pedigree link. Now, let's talk about it. This ain't no bootleg yellow. This real official certified yellow coming down off two half brothers. You know, Big John on the top, Mayday on the bottom. Daughter of grand champion hog bred to Medasia. She bred to Fletcher. Fletcher is a son of Hacksaw, Saber 2000. Hacksaw is a son of Buddy and Ronda Rousey. Saber 2000 is a son, a daughter of uh, Jocko and Yellow Girl. You know, it just is what it is when it comes to these dogs, man. Uh, a lot of brothers, like I said, you got to stop mi uh, misunderstanding hate for telling the truth because a lot of y'all brothers, you get it confused. You think, Telling the truth is hating. And there's a lot of stuff you do on a daily basis is hating. But y'all stay safe out there. Y'all stay legal with these dogs. Making sure you're taking care of them the right way. PBK9s. And I'm out.